Okay, you all better be sitting down and you better have a pen and notepaper ready because there is so many awesome manga that you're not going to want to forget. You're going to want to try and you are going to want to check out. This month's manga haul is super awesome. I got completed series. I got rare volumes, expensive volumes, amazing deals, things you maybe have never even seen in your life, and some other special things you're not going to want to miss. So sit back, relax, pen and paper ready, and let's all enjoy this awesome manga haul. Let's go. Okay, manga time. I have 80 plus manga, closer to 90 I'm thinking, and some bonuses. So definitely stay tuned and we might even give something away. So let's get into this. First, we're gonna start with a webtoon. This was a gift from my wife and this is Tower of God, volume one. Now I have heard of Tower of God and I know it's really really popular and good and people like it a lot. This is a hardcover. It is in color so it's pretty much like a graphic novel here but you will see this in the manga sections so if you are interested in something pretty cool try this out. Then we got My Izakai Life number four for such a random literal Izakai title sounding thing here. This one's actually above some of the rest. It is pretty good. Then we got some bread and butters here. We got Mashal number 10 continuing with this series. Then I have two Jujutsu Kaisen 17 and 18. Uh, this series is good. I'm sure most people have heard of it. It is. It does get a little confusing at times, but uh, it's still good. Then we have I'm Quitting Heroing and this is volume one. This title kind of bugs me. I know it's correct, but it just doesn't feel right saying it. I'm quitting heroing. I don't know. Is there a better way to say that? I don't know. And here we have 1721. Now this is uh, Fujimoto, obviously the creator of Chainsaw Man, Fire Punch, things like that. And this is before Chainsaw Man. And these are short stories of his. And honestly, I wasn't impressed. These are fine, but they aren't great. So if you're just strictly interested in Chainsaw Man and you want to branch out and see what else this guy does, this might not be the title I would pick. These short stories, it might just be better to save your money. Then I have two volume ones here that I don't know if I'm going to be continuing or if they're gonna hit the chopping block and that is for Sally's of the Dead if I'm saying that right and Spy Classroom and these are both number one and number one I think I'm a little bit more interested in Spy Classroom I will see please please people Manga Sloth Nation let me know down below if you have read these you know anything about these or if they are good at all and also don't forget if you want to know about any of these series because I'm going through them quickly I'm not spending a ton of time on each one let me know down in the comments I will answer all your questions we got thus spoke Rohan Kispi obviously I am a Jojo's fan so I am going to buy everything Jojo's and these are good and they're very pretty hardcovers then if you are following me on Instagram congratulations you already know what these are if you've seen it these are gifts to me from Yen Press that's right Yen Press the publisher sent me some more volumes to look at, to review, and to check out, and they sent me a wide range this time. They sent me this light novel that I'm going to not try to pronounce, and also you would have seen all these on my stream. I did a stream recently, and I'm getting back into streaming. You can find that in the live section of YouTube here. Bing. And make sure you stop in and say hi to me when I do those. I'm going to be doing collection reviews and giveaways and lots of fun stuff for the community. I got the beginning after the end, volume one and two. This is Yen Press, not IZE on these, but they are the glossy page, more expensive, full color, kind of like graphic novels here. And then I have World After the Fall here. I already own World After the Fall and have read it, so this is a copy that will be given away. Called The Name of the Night, Volume 1. This one actually looks pretty good. Very cool looking. Uh, number One Love, The Villainous Stands, The Heroes. This one definitely looks like something my wife will read and try. And then we have The Otherworlder Exploring the Dungeon. And 
this one kind of looks cool we got this like mystical cat here and this dude with this cool gun i mean it's worth a try it looks pretty sweet so yen press if you are watching thank you again please keep sending goodies and i will keep sending them to the people reading and reviewing them all right here is one of the many goodies i got this month for a steal i got i got arpego of blue steel one through six for thirty dollars which is amazing on its own but i bought this whole lot only for volume six i do not need one through five and the reason i need number six is because it's hard to find and it generally goes for 75 to 100 plus dollars so i would gladly pay 30 dollars just for it alone but getting the rest of these is a bonus and i know number four is kind of hard to find maybe a 30 40 50 dollar volume so this is another thing that can be giveaway or sold maybe because i think there are some other volumes that are harder to find there's 19 volumes out right now and it is ongoing i don't hear many people talk about this series maybe because some of the volumes are hard to find and it's hard to read it all physically but this series is awesome then we have i got a cheat skill in another world and became unraveled in the real world too nice crisp brief title two volumes out now so if you're looking for something cool to read this is pretty good it's like half izakai half op character type deal really humble character who gets bullied and everything and and then becomes kind of like op gets skills and stuff no one else has in a izakai world but also he's still connected to his world so he goes back and forth and he goes to school and does all that stuff so uh it feels different in a bunch of ways pretty good okay reincarnated as a sword one two and three one is not in this hall but it's just in this stack i've I've shown this off maybe even a year or so ago. I decided to restart this series. I think Bearded Otaku, another awesome YouTuber, definitely check him out. He kind of said it, it's good, you know, def definitely give it the try. And I gave volume two and three a try. And speaking of three right here, look at look at how skimpy this little volume is. Holy cow, what, what happened here? But yeah, I gave it a try and I did like it. I'm going to continue this series. Here is a series my wife is reading that I got her. And obviously you see five, six, seven, it's the Apothecary Diaries. These covers and colors of these covers are gorgeous and the back is nice and clean and you got characters really awesome she loves this series and to be honest i don't know if i've heard or seen somebody who's actually given this series a real try who does not like it so seven volumes out now and i'm just gonna go ahead and say if you want to be blown away and love a series grab one and two and read them then we got gundam double zero second season one through four this is a older manga i am a gundam fan and i am trying to complete all the old gundams in english and this was one one that I seen that was for sale used and in great condition for cheap so I decided to get them so if you have any old Gundam manga maybe the manga sloth might take it off your hands here we go backstabbed in a you just know it's bad when you see all this like jibber jabber here like you can't read most of that from like here it is backstabbed in a backwater dungeon my trusted companions tried to kill me but thanks to the gift of unlimited gacha i got level 9999 friends and i am out for revenge on my former party members and the world oh boy you gotta take a couple breaths in there you gotta pause you gotta take a nap you gotta take a little vacation you gotta pamper yourself and then you gotta come back and read the rest of this holy crap this title has more words than some manga i have thank goodness they didn't try to jam it all on the side there but this series was okay it's been a little while but we got a mob cycle 100 for some reason they are printing these slower than molasses and if you are familiar with molasses it doesn't move it's not alive so that that's pretty slow 
We got the Ice Blade Sorcerer Shall Rule the World number three. Continuing with this series, not too bad. This is Shy. And from what I've heard from my wife, it's like a My Hero Academia type of thing. Obviously, it's not the same, and there's a zillion differences. But if you had to compare it to something, but with a uh, girl as the main character, and I believe she thought it was all right. Sasuke and Peeps. Obviously, Peeps is the bird. So this is a Cole series, volume one, brand new. Here we got Wave, Listen to Me, volume nine. People, get on this series. Get on it. This is made by the creator of Blade of the Immortal, one of my absolute favorite series. And this is awesome. The main character in this, this female, is unlike any other. She is awesome. And you definitely want to try this series out. I only nine out right now. Okay, my wife started Witch and the Beast. I know a lot of people like this series. This is volume one. Decent art in here. And obviously the story is good. So she's gonna be continuing this. Hey, if you enjoy my content, please consider subscribing. It helps me out and I very much appreciate it. Thank you. Boom. We got Toriko 16. Boom, ba boom, boom. And it's pretty clean for an old volume. I was able to get this volume finally. It is the last volume I need in Toriko. This volume sells for 100 plus all day long. And I never wanted to pay that price. And someone in my Discord who didn't want to be named and didn't want to shout out. But you know who you are. And if you're watching, I thank you again. And he hooked me up with Toriko 16. And they wanted to do it for free but I insisted and threw some money their way and it was immensely cheaper than trying to find one of these online so I appreciate that so much I will make sure I pass that kindness along to you and the people run away with me girl volume one so a newer series here decent artwork and I believe my wife liked this series. I don't have a ton of details on some of these series since my wife is the one who reads these. So like I said, if you want to know anything about them, let me know down below and I will let you know. Eminence in the Shadow 5. This manga is good, but from what I hear, the anime and definitely the novels are better. But I'm going to just stick with the manga here. It's pretty good so far. Dawn of the Arcana 13. I would say this was an awesome some find if this was months ago but this was reprinted this is the one that um everyone's been waiting on or a lot of people have been waiting on the hard to find volume 13 this is now a complete series at 13 then we have his majesty the demon king's housekeeper one and two my wife read i think she read volume one and she didn't like this series so this is going to be dropped so this could be another giveaway snow white with red hair volume 23 this series just keeps impressing and impressing a little bit skimpier volume but still great content king's beast volume 9 still going with this still a good dungeon people volume 2 volume 1 was decent volume 2 was also in that realm of decent uh definitely didn't blow me away it is wordier than I thought it would be and I just I just wasn't paying attention too much so I had to kind of like reread a couple pages uh, and go back and forth but it was pretty good the strongest sage with the weakest crest volume 10 this series is definitely one of my favorites to read really fun action-packed I like all the characters it is good kingdoms of ruin volume 5 okay volume still going on with that we got Comey can't communicate Communicate number 23. This cover looks very dramatic. If you've read this volume, then you know. And if you know, you know. Here's a beauty. Parasite number 2. The hardcover edition that is also, you guessed it, full color. It's the series we love and cherish. And a beautiful hardcover that is all in color and wonderful and that's a so p a and it's gonna spell out parasite when they all hook together it's gonna look great on the shelves too 
Great job, Kodansha. I really like this. Manga intermission here. I have three books here that I wanted to show off real quick that are semi-manga related. They are art books. But first, what the frick is this thing? This is a Davoom. It's a pixelated board that you can display almost anything on. Right here I got my channel, my stats, the time of day, and then boom, I got a Doug Trio on it. That's how I roll. These are hooked to your Wi-Fi and you, you can make stuff to put on these. There's a whole community of people who are making cool things for it. The possibilities are endless. Check out the link below and see what you can do with these Davooms. They're awesome. Okay, so these books here are freaking sweet. And as you can see by the Davoom here, it is one piece. And I got the three compendium versions of this. And they are just absolutely loaded to the brim with artwork and different things. And these ones are translated in English, which is amazing. Because I collected all these in the single editions from Japan and they are obviously not translated so it was mostly for artwork and stuff but now I get all that artwork and everything inside these and they're all hardcover and super awesome so if you're a One Piece fan even a little bit this is something for you so I actually ordered these three books to replace my Japanese ones obviously and I ordered them together and they never showed up it was months later. I'm talking, they were gone. No tracking, nothing. Contacted the people, they gave me a full refund. And then months and months later, they just magically show up in my door. So sometimes that happens and they are not in absolute mint shape, but they are good enough for me, especially because they were free. Here is a complete series. I got my wife. This is Library Wars 1 through 15 and she loved this series. I know a lot of people like this series and cherish it. And everyone that I have came into contact with who has or has read this series and enjoyed it has nothing bad to say and only praise for it. What a great series. 15 volumes and you get something wonderful and my wife got started with these and then she just blazed through them then i was at the store a little while back and i picked up thunderbolt fantasy one and then two came out here recently and i picked that up i read both of these this is complete at two chungus volumes and they are seven c's so they are that high high quality print quality omnibuses here artwork is great a lot of action characters are pretty cool and i thought this series was all right you know for two volumes here complete get a whole story it wasn't too bad and here's something that's pretty much up everybody's alley vinland saga oh boy volume 13 this is vinland saga obviously volume 13 this volume was awesome the ending you know might bring tears to people's eyes wistoria wand and sword volume 2 continuing on with this this was pretty good golden kamui volume 28 good good coming coming up on the end here Tokyo Revengers, real awesome. Volume 7, 8, Omnibus. When these enter the house, I just read these, like, really fast. This this series is good. I really like it. I'm growing accustomed to these characters. I'm really liking them. And the ending of this one kind of, like, surprised me. I want to know what the frick is going on. I wish I had more. It's uh, It ended kind of weird. Then I was able to pick up these triguns this is another awesome deal i got i picked these all up for fifty dollars i think we got trigon one and two and then trigon maximum one through six the singles here i know and we have heard dark horse tell someone on twitter or wherever that they have some trigon news this year and we are all assuming it's going to be trigon the deluxe editions it'll be the first 
time. They've been reprinted in like forever because these volumes are expensive and the ones past these and the big chunky maximums are even more expensive. Very hard to get and read physically. So Blade of the Immortal is coming up on the end of the deluxes. So we are all hoping that we get some sweet Trigon deluxes and oh man, I'm hoping that they look really, really awesome. Because those deluxe editions are great. People, comment down below what you read this month, what you wanted to read this month, or what you didn't get to read this month. Talk to me about some manga. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and follow me on my Instagram too. I show off different manga and I do different giveaways and announcements and all that kind of stuff on there too. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all next time.